good evening doctors and good evening online viewers our today's topic is epidural anesthesia epidural anesthesia my dear friends i am working in a ot also operation theater that's why i am sometime like to assist and sometime i am taking a part and watching how anesthesiologist is working so i have a uh, little uh, experience about this topic so i am going to explain you dose of epidural anesthesia do you know how much dose we need to give in case of epidural my question goes to dr madan hi high doses yes in epidural we need to give a very high doses high doses like 30 40 ml of anesthesia local anesthesia we need to give inject in a patient but in case of spinal anesthesia my dear friends only little dose like 2 3 ml like sansokin bupivacaine yeah sometimes low dose but here in epidural it's high dose much doses onset of analgesia onset of analgesia here is slow slow onset slow onset sometimes when we are in a operation theater when anesthesiologist give a anesthesia epidural then still patient moving his legs little but after few minutes when time goes hits when we give this anesthesia in his spinal he loses his sensation that time my dear friends okay it can be given epidural anesthesia we can given in cervical vertebra lumbar cervical thoracic lumbar sacrococcygeal also we can give any side of vertebra but in case of spinal we can give only on lumbar vertebra why lumbar vertebra today i asked this question with anesthesiologist and he answer me you know what because the spinal cords and earlier and it's if we give spinal anesthesia upper side it will damage the spinal cord sometime he explained me i don't know about uh, right or uh, no but uh, according to the books uh, epidural anesthesia we can give on any side okay what kind of needle we use in epidural anesthesia my question goes to mla doctor to he yeah he is right t u h y t u o h y to he needle we are going to use in epidural anesthesia what a good answer i really appreciating his performance he is already ready in my classes okay then site site my dear friends site is epidural 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 we are going to give inject this epidural anesthesia in epidural space but spinal in pia mater and subarachnoid in pia mater and subarachnoid we are going to inject the spinal why i am using the spinal also because see my dear friends epidural anesthesia sometimes we give most of the time we are giving spinal anesthesia but sometimes we give epidural anesthesia okay so to identify the epidural space they use i saw so many times when they inject the spinal or epidural they like to use some syringe and push inside uh, and they are sometimes aligned uh, to check like this way inside the uh, epidural anesthesia firstly they check uh, by saline using with the help of syringe or air 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 also they like to use okay and after that they give anesthesia why they are doing so to prevent to prevent prevent the effect to prevent here okay thoracic epidural anesthesia use thoracic epidural anesthesia we are going to use is here for what uh if upper abdomen if any kind of upper abdomen surgery upper abdomen surgery we need to give epidural anesthesia and thoracic side but in this anesthesia there is a no effect on perineal like uh, urogenital organs like on pelvis 
this anesthesia not effect if we give in a thoracic what is the best quality that is also today's uh, doctor anesthesiologist he explained me if we give in a regional site like on a thoracic it blocks it blocks only the regional area but in his spinal not confirmed in his spinal so much area included so it is specific for a specific area epidural so we are going to know the side effects side effects of the anesthesia which i already told headache by headache due to cerebral uh, outflow headache vertigo dizziness dizziness here dizziness sometimes uh, are the side effects and uh, what are more side effects we include uh, uh, like uh, uh, this uh, headache, dizziness, and what else? My question goes to Doctor Lal Kishan. Caesar. Yes, brilliant, absolutely. Caesar, Caesars, my dear friends. Caesars also a side effect of uh, epidural anesthesia or spinal. Why Caesars? Because because when this anesthesia. Maybe uh, sometimes ruptures the blood vessels also, and if it come in contact with blood, that time seizure occurs. I will give you one example. When I am assisting in a gynecology department, there is a cesarean delivery, and uh, that time what happens? I an anesthesiologist inject a bupivacaine, sensocaine, that injection, and the lady develop a seizure. Everybody think why we not measure her blood pressure? Why we not uh, see the history of eclampsia or preeclampsia or pregnancy induced hypertension? Why? But that time no one knows. But uh, one uh, gynecologist, another lady also told, you know, earlier so many deliveries we have such complication, but nobody understand. Uh, and that anesthesiologist also uh, told uh, maybe he he's younger, younger looking anesthesiologist, and he don't have enough uh, experience that time. He also can't able to understand. So they all decide. To check the sense of gain, maybe some uh, problem there. But uh, when I asked with a senior uh, anesthesiologist, he explained me, maybe he rupture. Sometimes some blood vessel that anesthesia came in contact. That's why she, that lady suffered from a seizure. And we saw that time proteinuria in her urine. Protein level is one, and that is normal for uh, pregnancy. But in case of eclampsia, there must be the proteinuria high. Okay, my dear friends. But that time nobody knows even i am present i also don't know but after a second day when i am entered in another ot i understood okay uh, and respiratory depression also it causes respiratory depression uh, i hope you all understand bopi working so many times uh, repeatedly asking questions like this is a cardiotoxic cardiotoxic i asked him why uh, Bobivacaine is cardiotoxic because it depresses the myocardium. It depresses the myocardium directly. That's why it is cardiotoxic, my dear friends. Bobivacaine. And sometimes it causes cardiac toxic and cardiac arrest and sometimes sudden death also. So sad situation. So sad. So sad in such situation. And the complication like subdural hematoma subdural hematoma why hematoma wrongly inject the injection coagulopathy it is contraindicated coagulopathy central venous thrombosis abscess 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 but in case of failure when we know the epidural anesthesia is failure Failure in case of obesity, when a patient is obese, multiple pregnancy, multiple pregnancy, multiple pregnancy, and history of epidural analgesia, failure, failure, past history of epidural anesthesia, failure. And I am going to explain one thing more also. I ask today also why why uh, there is a, a hypotension when we give epidural anesthesia there is a fall in a BP and there is also fall in 
हार्ट रेट भ्रेडी खार्डिया बट इन स्पाइनल दिस सिचुएशन इज मोर इन एपिडूरल इट इज लेस वाय He told me because we are giving epidural on particular for a particular size, but spinal has so many area. Okay, and one another reason also because it paralyzes the muscles like intercostal muscle and diaphragmatic muscles, and which inhibit the sympathetic activity also due to this anesthesia of heart. Sympathetic activity reduces by the heart because some blockage occur there. That's why hypotension and bradycardia. and uh, what kind of drugs we are going to use i saw so many times we are uh, using mostly the ropivacaine ropivacaine we can use bupab uh, uh, bupivacaine also in epidural i already written so i am going to explain you some of the drugs which we are going to use in epidural like lidocaine we can use mepivacaine we can use ropivacaine i already explained chlorprocaine we can use sometimes opioids hydromorphin morphine fentanyl so fentanyl pethidine and i want to explain you epidural anesthesia is a very good analgesia very good a pain killer it is good pain killer than nitrous oxide also my dear friends when i am going to explain you this thing nitrous oxide uh, in when i am going to explain the general anesthesia inhalants and uh, i hope tomorrow's topic i am going to explain about spinal anesthesia and after that we are going to discuss about some local anesthesia so my dear friends have a good day good night and if you like my channel please subscribe my channel and if you have any comments and any views please put comments and if you like my video please put like on it have a good day good night goodbye okay thanks for watching my videos goodbye